Oh, hi, it's me again. Um, I've been to the thrift store a couple more times uh, this past week, and so I'm here to show you what I got. Um, these are from a couple days ago. I just stopped in real quick to donate something and then ended up getting a couple things anyway. Um, so the first thing I got is this white bird. Um, it's very slanty in the head. I just thought that was funny. Um, and then a cute little bear shaker. Um, this one is missing. I guess it used to hold on to a tree or something, which is now gone. So it's just the little bear. And then, uh, let's see, I think it was Saturday. Um, I went to a thrift store that I either have exceptionally good luck at or terrible a terrible time and um, it was a it was a good time this time um, so I was very excited um, the first thing I found is this uh, triceratops planter um, kind of fits along the theme of collecting white things which I've been doing but also it's just kind of odd to find a dinosaur that's a newer one um, you know not vintage but can still use it anyway um, I also got this nice owl. This was with the Halloween stuff. Um, it's by a company called Andrea that makes a lot of bird sculptures. Um, I really like them. They do a good job. I think they were mostly made in like the 80s and 90s. Um, got this little vase with this flower on it. The flower was actually the main thing I was interested in. Um, I thought maybe I could use it in another context. Um, white squirrel holding a very large acorn. Again, I think, yeah, this one is a contemporary thing too. It's probably from, I mean, it's made in China, but it's probably from like TJ Maxx or something. And it was originally $3. I paid $2.99 for it at the Goodwill. So I guess like I didn't get completely ripped off, <laughs> um, which often happens at Goodwill. Things are marked at over what their actual retail price is in a regular context, which is kind of crazy. Um, anyway, I had such a good day at that particular thrift store that I was in the aisle um, that I spend the most time in with the little tchotchkes and housewares. And I um, was talking to myself a lot because I kept finding things that I liked. Um, so one of the first things I spotted um, was this just sweet, sad, and kind of hilarious dog. Um, this dog has a super weird face. And he's just, like, a, he's so sad. His head's a little small. Um, and then I love the way he's sitting. Um, and so, like, with the, the foot's going up. And it's, yeah, you usually don't see a dog like this. Um, and oddly enough, like despite what I just said about the squirrel, this one has two stickers on him that say $6, but the Goodwill sticker was for $2.99, which was definitely the right price for this sad boy. Um, and then I found another special dog here. Um, this one has a rhinestone collar. Um, this just has a nice head shape, but I really picked it up because it's made by a company called Lennox. Um, they do like, you know, fine handcrafted porcelain that people find to be very collectible, like in the 80s and 90s. They, I think they had ads in Reader's Digest or something like that. Um, I came from a family that read Reader's Digest and that's why I know that. And the thing I was most excited to find, which I've been kind of keeping an eye out for these things for a long time and have had a lot of trouble finding them, is this penguin. Um, the eyes are really hard to see. His t-shirt says cool cash. Same thing on the back. But he's a shirt tails penguin. Um, if you were a kid in the 80s, you might remember the cartoon shirt tails. Um, I found in the past Pammy the Panda figurine. And then I kind of looked out for the other ones, I've never found one. Um, I even looked on eBay at one point and didn't have any luck, but those were actually made by Hallmark. Actually, I think there's a date. 
Yeah, 1981. So this um, cool cash penguin is from the year I was born. I had a shirt tails lunchbox for a bit um, as a kid. And I don't remember anything about the cartoon. I just liked it because it had animals wearing t-shirts and they like went on adventures and stuff. Um, so if you're a kid from the 80s, you'll remember shirt tails, hopefully, if you got to watch TV. Um, and so the two final things I found at the thrift store yesterday. Um, it was, there's, yesterday was Sunday. My A couple of my favorite, favorite thrift stores are not open on Sunday, which makes me very sad. Um, but I went to one anyway, just quick pop in. I got this big lady um, who's also an angel. Um, she's missing a finger, but I thought she had some nice hands I could use. Um, I can really use these wings on the back. Um, normally I wouldn't buy something this bulky uh, and normally she would be what I would consider to be grossly overpriced, but she was a hell of a deal at $7.99 and so she came home with me. Um, and actually her face isn't so bad. I may end up using her face for something. I was reading about mythological creatures recently and I read about one that's the uh, dog. It's a dog with the face of a human. Um, and so then I kind of got enamored about making this dog with a human face. Um, so I was digging through my box of humans, but I didn't really find anything that I thought did the trick. Um, last thing I got is this family of yellow birds. Um, I like these family, family of animal sculptures. Um, this one has some damage on the wing here. That piece is missing completely. Um, but really I wanted it because this bird has an outstretched wing. Um, most of the time when you see birds, their wings are close to their bodies, which doesn't make them as interesting for what I do with the sculpting. Um, and so, oh, and then there's like a branch missing, I think, on the back or somewhere. Oh, yeah, here it is. Um, so there's a little damage, but um, it's, a, it's a good grouping. Um, and I like it when they have the weird-looking little baby birds, too. Um, so that is it for the weekend of thrifting. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing what I have, and I'll see you next time.